hello my dear this is Ujjwal and today I'm going to share with you a question which has been asked in gate already so well these days I'm covering questions from industrial engineering and operation research uh, today I'm going to share with you how to solve this type of problem all right so basically this is a graphical method and uh, this is most important to understand because it's really simple to understand so before going to solve this question we need to know uh, about equations so here we are having three equations one two two and three equations right so basically what we have in the equation one we are having x1 less than four so if we wanted to draw if we wanted to draw such equation i mean uh, the line for such equation on this graph I mean, this is a graph all right let me show yeah so we need to have you know points so that's why we can specify uh, the distance from this point origin point so here one two three four five six your maximum we are having six here one two three four five six tips for you here I know the answer and that's why I'm sharing with you right so tips for you because this question already has tips for you use scale in the examination if you wanted to get the answer right way otherwise probably you will do mistake and you will mark the wrong answer that I don't want that's why I'm sharing with you that T you need to use scale that's why you can get proper value there okay so that's simple now let's come to the point the x1 uh, is 4 let me use another pen a red pen would be much better this one is 4 so let's go I mean let's uh, draw this one right so this one will be like this now x2 x2 is 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 like this only all right so this one is for line 1 this one is for line 2 so because uh, this is given you know this is given towards the origin I mean because this is less than so we need to draw like this this will be like this because this is to okay, I will share if I will share this one is like this so towards the origin right so you can go like this also no problem at all right now let's come to the point uh, uh, let's come to the point what is most important that is the equation 3 we have to find out the value of x1 and x2 from the equation 3 that is most important right so here we need to find out that is x1 2 uh, 3x1 plus 3x1 plus 2x2 uh less uh, less than is equal to 18 so if i'll put x1 equal to 0 then i will get x2 is equal to 9 get it my dear so x2 is equal to 9 and x1 is equal to if x2 equal to 0 then x1 is equal to 6 so x1 is equal to 6 here 9 let's supposed to be here so the line would be like this and this would be um, let me use another pen to specify this will be forward i mean towards the origin i must say so we are getting here how many points one two three and four so basically to find out the value of this point we need to use scale okay so here we're getting two and six and here we, at the point three we're getting four and three and we are getting here four zero we are getting here zero six so if you have put values all these point values so this is their feasible region like you must say this is the feasible region right so if I'll put all values in this equation, in this equation which we have given here to find out maximize its, uh, you know, maximize, maximum value. So what I can do, I can do just put values 0, x equal to 0, x2 equal to 6. So this will become how much? Uh, 6 to the, two, two the 12 and then 2 and 6 to 6 and 12, 18 and here also 4 12 6 18 here also how much we are getting 12 so basically what we are getting two optimal solution here that means multiple optimal solution so here let's look at the option what we have given in this question lpp has a unique optimal solution that's not the answer that v is uh, lpp is infeasible that's also not the answer the LPP is unbounded that's also not the answer so the answer is D that is the LPP has multiple optimal solution so this is like this only as simple as that I hope you understand the question and uh, one more tip I would like to share with you that is solve previous year problems of gate 
if you are getting any problem let me know i'll try to give you answer with the video thanks for watching hope to see you again in my next video bye bye